Hello and welcome to another video for Excel users. I've had a question from somebody asking about calculations on spreadsheets and the problem they had was that they were entering data but the calculations were not updating. And what's probably happened is Excel's calculation mode has been switched from automatic to manual. There's a few ways it can happen and I'll show you how to bring it back to automatic if you find this happening on your spreadsheets. So right now I've set my spreadsheet to manual calculation and if I change the number of rentals on 2001 here to 12 and press enter you would expect the income number to change and you would also expect a few of these values down here to recalculate as well but when I press the enter key absolutely nothing happens except the rental number changes to 12 so if I do the same thing with Ben Hur maybe change that to 15 nothing happens so right now I have to do the calculation manually and the solution to that can be found on the formulas tab and if you come over to the right side you will find this little group here called calculation and I'm going to click on this calculate now button and if you just keep an eye on the left of the spreadsheet where the, uh, the new updated values went in you will see that a few things happened not only did the values change but also my conditional formatting jumped to show Ben Hur as the highest form because that is the new high value and also the chart updated as well now the reason I had to do that is because under calculation options I've got three settings automatic automatic except for data tables and manual so in almost every situation you would have your calculations set to automatic and if you find that your calculations aren't happening automatically that's probably why that somebody's gone into here and selected manual for whatever reason now you have once you set manual by the way these two options are calculate now which is to calculate the entire workbook all the worksheets or you can just calculate the active sheet if you prefer these two buttons have no relevance when you have automatic calculations switched on so now I've got my auto calculations back on I can let's say come to the Wizard of Oz there and just move that up to 10 rentals and we will see things move automatically as they're supposed to if you're using Excel 2003 you can always check your calculation setting by going to the tools menu come right down to the bottom to the options and uh, go to the calculation tab and there you'll be able to switch from manual to automatic or vice versa and you'll see as well there it indicates that you can do a calculation even if you have manual settings by pressing the F9 key I'm going to leave this one on automatic which is highly recommended for almost every circumstance just click OK to confirm that so thank you for watching this tutorial, hope you found something useful there and I'll see you next time.